it's very nice here. You can hear the road and the lawnmowers and stuff. You're near a park. I'm near a park. But there's this lovely creek. I'm sitting in mud. I probably have mud on my butt. The things I do for my art. Hmm. These are my witchy hat mushrooms. Uh, the moss and the little blue flowers are fake. Um, I was trying to get a good shot for the thumbnail and the video. And this just started happening randomly. I guess I've got the magic touch. I don't know. Carousel, prison, prison, carousel. This is my absolute favorite work of art at the Fort Worth Modern. Um, it is called Seated Three by Wageshi Muto, who is a Kenyan American artist. This bronze sculpture of this regal woman. I love the length of her hands. I love the color of her skin, the length of her neck, the coils around her body. Uh, when I did more research, I found out that Seated One, Two, Three, and Four are part of a series called The New Ones Will Free Us. And uh, they were commissioned by the Metropolitan, the Met in New York, 
to sit in the niches of the museum's facade, which have re actually remained empty uh, since the museum was built in 1902. And the intent was always to have art in those. I just love it. I'm including a link uh, to an interview with Wageshi Mewtwo um, about these works. And I encourage you to watch it if you love this at all, if it speaks to you. I really, really like the part where she talks about adding the patina to the bronze and paint, uh, she uses the phrase, paint them with fire. Um, that's how that orangey tent um, was made as she put a, a blowtorch to it, basically. It's fascinating. And one thing I didn't realize, realize about this one, seated three, because of her position and her dress is that that disc on the back of her head is a mirror. Um, the other seated, uh, their mirrors show frontally. They're in their forehead or on their lip, like a lip plate, flashing out in the sun. And I think they must have really been a sight to behold in New York. Hello. So, I'm sitting on a bale of hay in a nature conservatory. I just found pretty close to my house and I had no idea it was here. It's full of fields and forests and trees and wildflowers. I just met a guy named Bob. He handed me a business card and his title is Meadow Manager. Can you imagine anything cooler than being the Meadow Manager? So he told me that something called a bucket flower, which is um, purple, in about four or five days the field's just gonna bloom with them. And this field, this meadow in the middle of this conservatory, it gets wildflowers from now. I mean, it's already got a bunch of wildflowers through June, depending on the weather, just blazing with wildflowers. So I will be back. Um, I could see this for a couple of, uh, a good place for a video. This would have been a good place to do the fairy door um, photo shoot. But that was, that was fun. I like doing that where I did it. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. But yeah, just enjoy this meadow, courtesy of Bob, meadow manager. Yeah. Snake says, don't step on snake. Turtle says, nobody's home. Squirrel says, oh my beer. Speaking of nature, we had some baby blue jays. Uh, their mama put a nest on our electric box, um, electric meter, and we got to watch them leave the nest and take their first little steps in flights. Oh, he's doing good. Thank you for joining me on this uh, Snoop Bloggy vlog. And uh, just a couple of three little things to wrap up. Uh, the project I just finished, um, the project I'm working on now, little sneaky peek, sneak peek, 
and then obligatory cat footage because you know I'm a cat lady Meow. this is a little bit of land I scoped out for uh, the photographs for my fairy door my very fancy fairy door made from a violin the very tree I picked and here is uh, one of my better photos and the thumbnail actually from YouTube so I'm gonna have a link here for that this is kind of neat look at the color changing all that is is a little um, they call them puck lights taped on a stick and there is fairy Rachel who was really green screen Rachel um, I had a lot of fun with my new green screen and as you can see and oddly enough subconsciously I got my nails done in green screen so that could be some fun I'll probably have them for the next two weeks maybe three yeah this is uh, me playing with my bananagrams letters to do the intro for my next video which is going to be a mermaid. There's the sneaky peek. There is the top half of the mermaid. And as promised, obligatory cat footage. What's that? What are you doing? Boop. Are you a very colorful Jedi? <laughs>